This episode is brought to you by Shaka Guide. With Shaka Guide, you can experience Hawaii with a tour guide right on your phone. Shaka Guide uses your GPS to guide you to interesting places along your way. Automatic audio tours with turn-by-turn directions means all you need to do is turn on the tour and drive. Shaka Guide's self-guided tours give you the freedom to explore the beautiful Hawaiian islands and know where to stop and what to do. This is a great alternative to your traditional tours because in this new normal of social distancing, Shaka Guide right on your phone is a great way to explore Hawaii. So go to hawaiisbesttravel.com slash Shaka. Welcome to Hawaii's Best Travel Podcast, where we help you prepare for your next trip to Hawaii. Discover the experiences, businesses, and stories that make Hawaii the Aloha State. And now your host, Brian Murphy. Aloha and welcome to episode 44 of Hawaii's Best. Here at Hawaii's Best, we help prepare you for your next trip to Hawaii. And I'm your host, Brian Murphy, the owner of Hawaii's Best. We give you the -the behind-the-scenes look at some of Hawaii's Best experiences businesses, and influencers. And on today's show, we have Jessica Polk, who was born and raised on the island of Kauai. Jessica is the founder and owner of The Hawaiian Box, a subscription box service that proudly features small businesses in Hawaii. All the products that they feature are products that are made in Hawaii. That is just so important, as you know, especially during this whole year, of 2020, I think the idea of buying locally, no matter where you're at, has been such an important facet into getting through this corona era. Not sure what to call it, but you know what I mean? Buying local has never been more important. And the same can be said for Hawaii local businesses. And if you love Hawaii, which I'm sure you do because you're tuning into this podcast at Hawaii's Best, it is really the heart behind what we do at Hawaii's Best is featuring local businesses. And Jessica from the Hawaiian Box, that is all that she does. And I just think that is really cool. So before we even get into the interview, I just want to let you know about a promotion she is doing that is starting on Black Friday. So if you enter the code Black Friday 1515 at checkout, you will get 15% off your order from Black Friday through Cyber Monday. So go to thehawaiianbox.com and go ahead and order right there. Now, the Hawaiian Box is a subscription service, so be sure to read everything that that entails. But I got to tell you, when we got our first box... It was such a cool experience. We have three girls, my wife, Ali, and I, and it was just amazing. They were so excited to see a box featuring all these amazing local products right in Hawaii. That excitement, I want you to experience as well. It was just so cool. So again, go to thehawaiianbox.com after this episode and enter the code. If you're listening to this on Black Friday through Cyber Monday, enter the code Black Friday. 1515 at checkout for 15% off. Well, hey, enough of my yakking. Let's go ahead and we're going to talk story with Jessica from the Hawaiian Box on Kauai. Jessica, thank you so much for coming on Hawaii's Best today. How is life on Kauai right now? Well, Brian, thank you for having me. Um, Kauai is starting to pick up the pace just a little bit. We're starting to see a little bit more visitors on the road. So it's, it's exciting to see them. At the same time, it's a little scary, but, sure, you know, got to get back into it. So did you grow up on Kauai? A little yes. bit on that story. Okay. Yes, born yeah. and raised. My father was born and raised here. His mm-hmm. mom, born and raised on the island, so. Now, what about you? How has, as we're looking back on 2020 already, it's been, you know, we're sitting in November right now. And how has this year been for you personally and on the business side of things? For me, I ended up getting laid off from my regular job. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it allowed me to put more time into the Hawaiian box. It did allow me to spend more time with my family. It's sad that 
I don't have like a normal job right now. But at the same time, I think it's better for the box. <laughs> right. All the extra hours can be put into that. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the Hawaiian box and how did that all start? What was the vision behind that? At the time, before I even thought of it, I just had my son and my daughter, who was four at the time, she was going to go into kindergarten. So around what year was this around? Beginning of last year, beginning okay. of 2019. Yeah. So pretty recent. I just felt like with my work schedule and with my daughter going to kindergarten, I wouldn't be able to see her at all. And so that was unacceptable for me being that I would work nights and, you know, she would go to school during mm -hmm. the day. I knew that I wanted to do something that was more on the e-commerce end that would allow me to spend more time with the family, especially having a newborn at home. And so I started to look online to see what kind of e-commerce businesses I could do. And so I came across the subscription boxes. And I did subscribe to one in the past and it was baby toys for my daughter when she was younger. And I really enjoyed it. I remember being more excited and surprised when the boxes would come in. Right. But I looked into it and I asked myself, you know, if I ever did a subscription box, what would it be? Mm -hmm. And so that's where my love for the islands came into play. Um, my love for Hawaii, the culture. And so it would be you know, showcasing made in Hawaii products. And so did a little bit more research, found that there were a couple of Hawaii themed boxes out there that had more snacks. Mm -hmm. Another one was Hawaii coffee, but nothing yet touched on the product side. And so that's where I said, you know, I think, I think this is something I should do. And so I took a stab at it and, you know, here I am. I love that. You just went for it. Obviously, the Hawaiian box is a subscription-based box that's kind of a, a new type of delivery system. Maybe someone who's not familiar with the subscription model, maybe you can un unpack that a little bit. Yeah, so a lot of people are familiar with a magazine subscription. They'll order and a magazine will be delivered to their home every month, every couple weeks. And so the subscription box, it's the same concept, except instead of ordering to a magazine, you are subscribing to a box of items. And so with our theme, the Hawaiian box theme, you would be subscribing to Hawaiian goodies, authentically made Hawaiian goodies. Very cool. So you, you, you dove into the subscription box and, and that is really kind of, I mean, when we got ours, obviously all the goodies inside and it's like, oh man, it's like, you know, having that aloha just right, right at your doorstep, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. But it really is that kind of excitement of like, I wonder what's in it. Oh, it's here. It's here. Mm -hmm. So I think that is in itself something, you know, to keep in mind as, you know, if you're doing a subscription box, you know, part of it is that surprise of, you know, it's kind of like Christmas morning, right? Like, I wonder what's in the box. <laughs> yeah. So I think in all of us, we still have that kind of, you know, that, that youth like nature. And I think that's cool. For the products that you put in the box, how do you how do you source that and 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 what's that that like? I try to look through different programs in the state. For example, like Made in Hawaii Festival, mm -hmm. Made in Maui Festival. You know, I take a look at all the vendors. I search on social media and I see what's out there. I see what kind of unique things people create, and then I personally reach out to them and I see if they want to be featured in the Hawaiian box. And so I, the past boxes, I've been trying to offer a variety of different things, different items. And so I'm always looking for what's unique, what's out there. The great thing that I've, I do want to point out is that the items that we put in, it's all made in Hawaii, made mm -hmm. in with, by Hawaii locals, or at least designed or inspired by the islands. These are things that you would not find normally in the souvenir section mm -hmm. in you know, like at Walmart or something. So I think that's what makes it really unique, really special. I think that's great. And I think a lot of people who travel to Hawaii quite a bit and or who are traveling back to the islands, I really think this past year, just seeing how the local economy, maybe you can speak into that a little bit, especially on Kauai, how it's been impacted. But I think there's a bit more of a conscientious in 
in travelers' mindsets of the importance of, of supporting local because in a sense, this past year, we've all had to have supported local, you know, be it in mm-hmm. Wisconsin or, or whatever across the world, that local economy truly matters. So I think whenever we travel or wherever we travel, being mindful of that local economy, and especially with Hawaii. I know you kind of talked a little bit personally about what 2020 has been for you, but just from your perspective, what has life like been on the island of Kauai this past year been like? I've noticed a lot of people starting to open their own businesses because there's just no tourism right now. Right. And which is great. A lot of people are strongly supporting local businesses, buying from each other. They're constantly reminding each other that Hawaii doesn't need to rely on tourism for the economy to boom. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of locals are buying from each other, supporting from each other, and just you know trying to stay strong. That's great. Yeah. Cause with our backs against the wall, I mean, that's just something you, you have to, you have to do. So, yeah. well, let's, let's open up the box a little bit and kind of give people what, what can they expect? Maybe just some examples of some items and some products that you featured. The first time I curated a box, put it together, I decided to do a theme of each island. So my first one was more Kauai products. Since since I'm from Kauai, I had an artist with a notebook. She had her painting on a notebook printed on there. I had soaps in there. I had candles. I also had like a towel in there as well, a bag. And so that was just my first, that was my first box. The second one, I hopped over to Big Island and I featured only Big Island products. And so that one was fun because I found people that made their own lotions. I found this one girl, she did her own handbags. And I also featured coffee in that box as well. So yeah, just a real great variety. Most recently, I think the biggest hit was the Hawaiian Sun candles from Local Kind Things. And that one had the Lily Koi lychee scent. A lot of people love that. That was their yeah. favorite. Yeah. Super creative. Upcycling with that is, is cool. Are you gathering all the products and then are you packaging or how, how does that and then shipping out? Are you doing all that in-house? Yes. I am wow. the one that does everything. This summer was when I finally asked for help with my social media uh-huh. and I found someone in Oahu. She does a great job with my social media platforms. And then um, I did reach help for someone else to reach out to other vendors. But other than that, I am the one that packages it together, puts it together, decides what goes in the box. But for me, I don't mind that. Like, I feel like my boxes are going to a friend. Mm. And so when I package it, I package it carefully. Right. And I I bet from all of these this product research and you're like, Oh, you know, these people, they make their own lotion and, and they're doing this and she's making these handbags. I'm, Mm -hmm. I'm sure that has created so many new friendships and conversations too. Yeah. Yes. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Very good. Now people are listening to this. This will air. It is Wednesday, November 25th. And we're a couple of days away from black Friday and for people listening if you're listening, you know, from Wednesday to Friday, basically, right? There, we There's a, um, a special deal, right? Yes. I am offering 15% off from Black Friday till Cyber Monday. And if you decide to purchase the Hawaiian box as a gift or for yourself, you can get 15% off and we will also waive shipping. So you'll get free shipping if you live in the United States. And then the code for that is Black Friday 15. Black Friday 1515. Yeah. Yes. Cool. From your perspective, I love to just, I, I get a lot of messages, a lot of emails too, just about people who are concerned or, or you know, dreaming of Hawaii. They want to get back to Hawaii so bad. And I know <laughs> right now is a little, little um, unique time to, you know, actually do that. But you know, say a little bit from now, maybe, you know, spring next year. Yeah. Like what, what advice would you give someone coming to the islands 
for the first time or they visit year after year and maybe they have like the typical Waikiki experience and and that's all cool. But like as a local, someone born and raised, just from your experience, what would you want people traveling to the islands just to, to know? When you come to the islands, every island is different. And so if you're trying to experience the culture, if you're trying to see different things and want to see everything, my recommendation is staying put on one island Hmm. instead of island hopping. Because in that way, you'll be able to see a lot more of that one island. Kauai is small, but there's lots to see. There's lots to do. Mm -hmm. And so same for the other bigger islands. That's the one thing I would recommend. If you're going to come to Kauai, I would say, you know, stay to one island and save the other islands for future visits. What are some spots, if we're talking specifically about Kauai, what are some spots that are kind of like, you want to make sure you do that or do this? Koke'e for sure. Um, Up in Waimea, make sure Mm -hmm. you see the canyon. That's the farthest, most west of the United States. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. And I would say the North Shore. North Shore is my favorite place on an island. Yeah. It's so green there. It's so lush. Don't be afraid of the rain. We have warm rain. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in the beach, you're in the water. Don't run. Right. You're, in, you're getting wet anyway. <laughs> Very true. Well, I'm curious, as you're looking at 2020 and assessing what's next for the Hawaiian box, what are some things that come to mind? Well, 2020, my main focus was exposure. And so I feel that I did accomplish that. 2021, I want to gain more exposure. I want to also grow my customer base. And I feel that that's important, not just for me, but also because I work with a lot of local businesses, it's supporting them too. Right. That's a huge heartbeat of what of why Hawaii is best started is, yeah, you, everyone loves Hawaii and the experience of, of Hawaii, but it's it's so much more. I mean, Hawaii is the land. Hawaii is the culture. Hawaii is the okay. people. That's that's Hawaii. And I really think that what you're doing marries all that together, which is really cool. So way to Thank go. You. Yeah, absolutely. Is there anything else, Jessica, we wanted to make sure? So up until now, my boxes were seasonal, meaning I would send or deliver the boxes every three months. Mm. And so listening to a lot of feedback from customers they love the box but they feel that it was you know a little bit too expensive i'm implementing changes starting january 2021 and so they can expect like a a different variety my mini box is going to be only foods so if someone wants more foods from the island then that's something that they could do and then my current box now i'm downsizing it to have about five items in there. This one is going to be more products in the box, non-food items. And the beauty of this is that even though I do have the food box now, I have the product box, the items inside are going to be entirely different. So if someone wants to get, I don't know, the ultimate Hawaiian box, they could combine Mm -hmm. both and get both. That's smart. Yeah. And just, you know, hearing feedback. I love that you know, being still still new in this and listening to feedback and, and making those adjustments. I think that that's awesome. So way to go. How can people follow you? How can people find you? My tag on Instagram is the Hawaiian box Okay. on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the Hawaiian box. All of my social platforms is the Hawaiian box uh, website, the Hawaiian box.com. Way to go. Good job with branding. That's important. <laughs> Well, cool. Jessica, thank you so much for coming on Hawaii's Best today. Truly appreciate you and what you're doing. Thank you, Brian. Aloha. Aloha. Well, big thank you. Mahalo to Jessica. Thank you so much for your time and what you are doing for the amazing local businesses on Hawaii. I just truly appreciate that. I know many people who are listening right now appreciate that, Jessica. So thank you so much. If you're listening to this episode and it's Black Friday through Cyber Monday, you can get 15% off by going to thehawaiianbox.com and entering Black Friday 1515 at checkout. Well, again, thank you so much for listening to this episode. I truly appreciate your time. And as we go into this holiday season, I just want to say I am completely appreciative of you 
for not only listening to this episode, but caring so much about people of Hawaii. And that's really why we exist here at Hawaii's Best. So from my ohana to yours, I just want to say a big aloha. And until next time, be well. Thanks for listening to Hawaii's Best Travel Podcast. To stay up to date on future episodes, be sure to subscribe. For more information to help you plan your next trip to Hawaii, visit hawaiisbesttravel.com.